The enduring popularity of the Star Trek science fiction franchise has led to numerous games in many different formats, beginning in 1967 with a board game based on the original series and continuing through the present with online and DVD games. Topic board games Space Checkers, a variant of tri-dimensional chess, produced by Pacific Game Co. 1965 Star Trek game, the only game based on the original series to be released during the show's run, produced by Ideal Toys 1967 Star Trek game, produced by Hasbro 1974 Star Trek game, produced in UK by Palatoy 1975 Star Trek game, produced by Milton Bradley, based on Star Trek, The Motion Picture 1979 Star Trek, Starfleet Game, a promotional game released by McDonald's to coincide with the first movie 1979 Struggle for the Throne, produced by FASA 1984. Players control factions fighting in a succession crisis in the Klingon Empire. Star Trek, The Adventure Game, produced by West End Games 1985, Golden Trivia Game, Star Trek Edition 1985, Golden Books Golden Trivia Cards, Star Trek Edition 1985, Star Trek, The Game, produced by Classic Games 1992, Star Trek, The Final Frontier, produced by Toys and Games Limited 1992, The Star Trek Trivia Game, board game based on the original series, created by Terry W. Hill of Ogden, Utah, limited edition custom made and and privately produced. 1992 present had to host a mystery Star Trek: The Next Generation, produced by Decipher in the U.S. and Canada. Games in Canada, 1992. Star Trek: The Next Generation interactive VCR board game, a Klingon challenge, the only Star Trek: The Next Generation video board game. Although a second game involving Q and the Borg was planned. This game was produced by Decipher 1993 Star Trek The Next Generation Romulan Challenge produced by MMG Limited 1994 Trivial Pursuit Star Trek Edition VCR game a sci-fi master game supplement for the main game made by Telstar Video Entertainment 1995 Monopoly produced by Hasbro Licensee USA Opoly in 3 versions one representing the original Star Trek series 2000 another featuring Star Trek The Next Generation 1998 and Star Trek Continuum Edition Monopoly covering all 5 series 2009 All About Trivia Star Trek released by Fundex Games A trivia game with material specifically based on the original series and the first 6 feature films 2009 Seen it Star Trek developed by Screenlife and Mattel Contains Star Trek TV and movie clips from all five live-action series and the first ten movies 2009 Star Trek, Expeditions, developed by Reiner Nizia and WizKids, taking place in the new continuity established by the latest movie 2011 Star Trek, Fleet Captains, developed by WizKids, a tactical game where players create fleets out of a selection of Federation and Klingon ships and battle to control hex-based sectors 2011 Star Trek Catan, created by Mayfair Games, is a T TOS themed version of the board game The Settlers of Catan 2012 Star Trek Attack Wing published by WizKids in 2013 and based on the Flight Path Maneuver system from the Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game under license from Fantasy Flight Games is a tactical miniatures war game Star Trek Ascendancy published by Galeforce 9 is a 4X strategy game 2016 Star Trek Panic published by USA Opoly with Fireside Games in 2016 a cooperative game based on Castle Panic that uses Star Trek-themed enemies and player characters to complete missions before the USS Enterprise is destroyed. Tabletop wargames Star Trek Battle Manual, designed and published by Lou Zoki in 1972. Unlike most other games in this category, it was played without a board. Ships maneuvered on the tabletop using rulers to determine range and protractor-like angle measures on the large counters to determine facing. The game was produced without authorization from Paramount Pictures, leading to its reissue in 1973 as the Alien Space Battle Manual with all Star Trek references removed, followed by a further release in 1977 as the Starfleet Battle Manual after Zachi obtained a license from Franz Joseph Designs for material in the Starfleet Technical Manual. Star Fleet Battles, the seminal tactical tabletop wargame created by Stephen V. Cole and produced by Task Force Games in 1979. Like Zoki's Star Fleet Battle Manual, it also made use of a license from Franz Joseph Designs. 
It has had four major editions and is currently published by Amarillo Design Bureau, Inc. Federation Commander, a more streamlined tactical tabletop wargame in the Star Fleet universe produced by Amarillo Design Bureau, Inc. in 2005. A Call to Arms, Star Fleet is another hexless game using miniatures set in the Star Fleet universe. Published in 2011, it is a collaboration between Amarillo Design Bureau and Mongoose Publishing, using a variant of the system seen in Babylon 5, A Call to Arms. Federation Space, a strategic companion to Star Fleet Battles produced by Task Force Games in 1981. Federation and Empire, the second and more elaborate strategic game set in the Star Fleet universe, first published by Task Force Games in 1986 and presently by Amarillo Design Bureau, Inc. The Star Trek II, Starship Combat Simulator, Star Trek III Starship Combat Role-Playing Game, and Star Trek, Starship Tactical Combat Simulator, all published by FASA Corporation in the 1980s, based on the combat system from the Star Trek, the role-playing game Star Trek, Attack Wing, published by WizKids in 2013, and based on the "...flight path maneuver system", from the Star Wars, X-Wing miniatures game under license from Fantasy Flight Games. Card games Star Trek Customizable Card Game, produced by Decipher. Star Trek, The Card Game, produced by Fleer. Star Trek, Deck Building Game, produced by Bandai. Star Fleet Battle Force, produced by Amarillo Design Bureau, Inc. Star Trek Adversaries, produced by Puppetmaster Games. Star Trek Flux, published in 2018 by Looney Labs with Gale Force 9 Star Trek TNG Flux, published in 2018 by Looney Labs with Gale Force 9 <laughs> Role-playing games Official game titles include the following Star Trek – Adventure Gaming in the Final Frontier, produced by Heritage Models 1978. Starfleet Voyages, produced by Terra Games Company 1982. Star Trek – The Role Playing Game, the original Star Trek RPG produced by FASA 1982. Enterprise – Role Play Game in Star Trek, released in Japan only by Tsukuda Hobby 1983. Prime Directive, designed by Amarillo Design Bureau, Inc. and published by Task Force Games 1993. Later editions were produced for the GURPS 3rd edition 2002, 4th edition 2005, D20 2005, and D20 Modern 2008. Star Trek, the next generation role-playing game, produced by Last Unicorn Games 1998 and derived in two other standalone games, Star Trek – Deep Space Nine role-playing game 1999. Star Trek – The Original Series role-playing game 1999. Star Trek role-playing game, produced by Decipher, Inc. 2002. Star Trek Adventures, produced by Modifius Entertainment 2017. Star Trek Simulation Forum, has served as the chat-based role-playing game of the official Star Trek website since October 2002. Remains the only simming organization currently recognized by the site 2002. Topic: <inaudible> Starship Simulator Games. Starship Simulator Games create the experience of commanding and operating a starship and usually allow the player to handle a variety of functions and to allocate resources such as ship power and systems. Some early Star Trek games in this category have had a huge effect on subsequent games in their genre, often leading to new level of depth and complexity in programming and or gameplay. This game category includes both computer games and non-computer board games, since the Star Fleet Battles game series provides a starship simulation, and is wholly a tabletop board wargame. As well as the Star Trek RPG by FASA, which allowed players to take charge of specific areas of a ship's functions, such as the engineer allocating power during combat. Star Fleet Battles is different from most other war games, which usually indicate unit strengths with simple numerical ratings. SFB players are able to deploy and manage power for a variety of ship weapons and resources. 
This is done via an elaborate energy allocation mechanism where even partial points of energy can be allocated to a number of different systems. Federation Commander is the continued development of this system in a more fast-paced version. Instead of the energy allocation system it uses an innovative tick sheet system, which manages power use for each ship, and also tracks which weapons and systems are in use. The Star Trek, Starfleet Command computer game is based upon Starfleet battles. In Star Trek, the role-playing game, produced by FASA, players actually had individual bridge functions during combat. This at one point became a separate game known as Starship Tactical Combat Simulator. The captain determined the strategy, the engineer was responsible for power management and allocation to different systems such as weapons and shields, the helmsman for firing weapons, the navigator for managing deflector shields, the communications officer for damage control and so on. Starship Simulator computer games which are set in the Star Trek universe occupy a large role in the history of computer games. Some of the earliest and more influential space simulator video games were Star Trek simulations designed to run on mainframes. David H. All played such games in the late 1960s at Carnegie Mellon University and the University of California, Berkeley. He stated that they were much less sophisticated than Mike Mayfield's Star Trek text game, which originated as a basic program on an SDS Sigma 7 mainframe system in 1971 and ported to many different systems. All published source code for this game in his best-selling basic computer games, and variants of the game spread widely to personal computer systems. Decor in 1978 was also a groundbreaking game. Another is Super Star Trek, an early text-based, DOS-based game. This game created an impressive starship experience using only text-based commands and graphics. The Game Begin is considered notable for having a convincing model of game dynamics, as it has very few random elements, and is highly mathematical. In 1986, the game Multi-Trek was brought online at the University of California, Santa Cruz. Written in C for a PDP mainframe, and also available via dial-up and later Telnet, M-Trek was arguably the first ever game to combine a persistent world, online multiplayer environment with a real-time, true three-dimensional game engine and versions of the game still have an active player base. Netrek was released in 1988, and was probably the first game to use both the TCP and UDP protocols, the first Internet-aware team game, the first Internet game to use metaservers to locate open game servers, and the first to have persistent user information. Netrek should not be confused with Nettrek, a 1984 Macintosh game and officially based on Star Trek. In later years, fewer games were produced within this genre, and more games were produced in the adventure games genre. The first new recent game was Starfleet Academy, which incorporated many Star Trek elements, but was criticized for depicting starship operation as more akin to fighter planes than capital ships. A sequel, Klingon Academy, was actually quite different, and was one of the first games to depict starship operation with an appropriate amount of complexity. The Starfleet Command game series released by Interplay was based largely on the tabletop game Starfleet Battles, and comprised Starfleet Command, Starfleet Command 2, Empires at War, and Starfleet Command 3. It constitutes one of the most definitive current games, depicting a wide array of ship systems and Star Trek storylines. This series had a more naval flavor, and depicted a number of ship systems. This series spawned a very large multiplayer ladder competition first with the Starlance system, and later on the Gamerzone ladder. The main multiplayer setting is the Dynaverse, which began as an official server hosted by Taldron, and has continued as a private effort. An earlier, unauthorized adaptation of Star Fleet Battles as a computer game was SSI's The Warp Factor in 1982. Star Trek Bridge Commander was another addition to this genre, reflecting the more deliberative, command aspects of this experience. In late 2006, Bethesda Softworks released several console games which carry on the tradition of classic Star Trek ship simulator, combat games, Star Trek, Legacy for the PC and Xbox 360, Star Trek, Encounters for the PlayStation 2, Star Trek, Tactical Assault for the Nintendo DS and the PlayStation Portable and Star Trek, Conquest for the Wii and PlayStation 2. Several online games have appeared on the Internet. Vega Trek is a game mod which is planned to eventually become active as a multiplayer game. 
Flash Trek – Broken Mirror, first created by Vex Shang, is one of the online Star Trek games, and is entirely browser-based. It has spawned several sequels. One sequel was created by Vex Shang, and multiple others were created by fans. A new game, simply titled Star Trek – Broken Mirror, is being developed primarily by a man named Darkwing. Star Trek – Bridge Crew is one of the newest additions to this genre, and continues the historical pattern of Star Trek-themed simulator breaking new ground. This cross-platform game is in a virtual reality environment in which four players actually occupy the bridge of the USS Aegis or the original Enterprise. Players get to see each other in real time, and interact during the game to operate the ship and work together to handle various game scenarios. Pinball games Four pinball games have been based on the Star Trek series Star Trek, released by Bally in 1979. Star Trek, 25th Anniversary, released by Data East Pinball in 1991. Star Trek, The Next Generation, created by legendary pinball designer Steve Ritchie and released by Williams Electronics in November 1993 as part of Williams Superpin series. Star Trek, another Star Trek game created by Steve Ritchie and released by Stern in winter 2013. <laughs> Video games Arcade Computer The history of the Star Trek personal computer game franchise began as early as 1971, with a Star Trek text-only computer game written in BASIC. Many PC titles have since been published, and the franchise was one of the first based on a TV program to break into the young PC gamer market in the 1990s. Interplay, Simon & Schuster, Microprose and Activision released most of the best-known Star Trek games between 2000 and 2003. Titles like Star Trek, Armada, Star Trek, Elite Force and Star Trek, Bridge Commander were all published during this period, as were over half of all the other major Star Trek PC games. The absence of new titles after 2003 was due in large measure to a split and subsequent lawsuit between Activision and Viacom which ended in 2004. With the departure of Activision in 2003, the franchise under the tenure of Paramount effectively came to a close. Since the end of 2005, CBS has assumed most franchise management, including games and other products. Even with no new licensed titles released during 2003–2006, the older games like Armada and Elite Force still have an avid fan base which keeps the small community going. Development of the new Star Trek, online title is complete and the game was made available for sale on February 2, 2010. Star Trek, Alien Domain is a Flash-based Star Trek multiplayer strategy game currently in open beta phase developed by GameSamba, in conjunction with CBS Interactive. <laughs> Commercial games Topic Console Topic Mobile Topic Electronic and Casino Games Star Trek Super Phaser Two Target Game is similar to Laser Tag, nineteen seventy six. Star Trek Phaser Battle Game is similar a tabletop arcade game Star Trek is a casino slot machine game designed and marketed by WMS Industries since 2008. <laughs> Handheld electronic games Numerous standalone electronic handheld and tabletop games have been produced by manufacturers like Bandai, Coleco, Konami, and others. Pairmatch, manufactured by Bandai in 1984, appeared in several Star Trek The Next Generation episodes. See also Netrek List of games in Star Trek